Good morning, it's Saturday, and that means start of another occasional vlog. Uh, I hadn't really thought about it to start this one. Normally I sit down and go, what do I need to mention this week? This week, I didn't do that. How are you? You doing alright? <laughs> oh, what a start to a vlog. Uh, yeah, it's a quiet weekend again this weekend. I thought last weekend was a quiet weekend. Uh, I'm going to cook today as well. Gemma doesn't know it, but I'm going to try to make a chicken and sausage gumbo. Because we do have a... Hang on, let me get the book. We've used this before. The slow cook book from Darwin Kingsley, is it? Is that what they're called? Anyway, yeah, this is a book. We've had it for ages. And occasionally I'll just run in there. Grab a recipe and cook it in the slow cooker or the instant pot. I'm going to do that today. So we'll probably show you the steps of that. I don't know if I can show the recipe because it is from a cookbook. But you'll probably be able to get enough information from our uh, videos should you wish to make it yourself. I do also need to clean all of the pots that we own because uh, uh, I'm a bit behind on doing that. But for the first time in ages... Just, just I have to show you because it doesn't happen very often. Kitchen table's clear. <laughs> Mainly because we've been, I mentioned uh, we're flea treating the cats at the minute. Uh, so we decided it would be best if we got all the soft furnishings off the uh, main parts of the house. Unfortunately we did get a few fleas. Poor Pixie's taking the, uh, the worst of it. So we're doing, um, when you're dealing with a flea outbreak it's... Uh, you can't just flea treat the cats and hope for the best. It doesn't work like that. You have to flea treat the house as well. So we've been using a spray. But all of the sprays, you can't split spray when the cats are present. So we have to put the cats in one area of the house, spray that area of the house, wait for that to settle, and then swap them over. Uh, obviously the cats are on um, like a spot-on style treatment. And then the other thing we read is that steam cleaners get rid of them as well. So we've been steam cleaning the house. And for a while, it didn't feel like we were making any progress whatsoever. But I think we're over the worst of it. Fingers crossed now. Uh, they're, they're all looking a lot more comfortable and a lot more content. They are a bit upset though because we did scorch earth all of the bedding and toys. But to be honest, most of it was messy anyway. So it's not really a big loss. So once they're... Uh, they're all settled and more comfortable in themselves. We're getting some new beds. Uh, yeah, so that's been a bit of fun. But anyway, we're going to carry on with the weekly vlog. Weekend vlog, whatever it's called. Occasional vlog, that was the one. Uh, get some cooking done. And we'll pick up with you then. Also, um, I noticed from the uh, video edit that the quality of the video that went up for last week, the actual... I mean, the content quality is what it is. But <laughs> the actual video quality was as good as it's ever been. But then I did also notice that the actual rendered video file was 20 gigabytes for a 25 minute video. So I might need to look into that because it's possibly a bit too high. It's because I used the new video editing software last week as well. Which uh, I'm going to try to continue to do to save myself some money. And plus also, I was thinking, DaVinci Resolve is like an industry standard video editor. So if I can learn that, that's a good little string in your bow, isn't it? You know. Anyway, we'll crack on with cooking and we'll catch up with you in a bit. Right, I think I've done enough dishes now that I can start to actually cook in the gumbo. Uh, this is the recipe I'm going to go with. Um, so yeah, we've got all the ingredients. And you can, the, This book's pretty good, it gives you the slow cooker recipe for it. And also if you don't have a slow cooker, it gives you a traditional method that you can cook it on. But I'm going to use the slow cooker because I'm actually going to use the instant pot that does slow cooking. Let's get started then. So this is the kind of slow cooker meal that starts with you um, burning stuff off in a pan. So I'm going to do that first and it starts with onions. He did say finely chopped. That's as close to finely chopped as I've got the patience to do. I'm going to season those with salt and pepper. God, I'm crying already. To that we add two chopped red peppers and three celery sticks. Uh, two cloves of garlic chopped. I'm actually using frozen garlic. We picked this up this week. Dead useful. It's also not uh, coming off the spoon. <laughs> Meanwhile, over in this bowl, I've just mixed two tablespoons of plain flour, and I'm using this Louisiana Cajun seasoning to rub, but it'll be fine. It's just spices. 
and all this is basically just in the pan for about five to eight minutes until it all starts going soft. So this is starting to soften up nicely so I'm going to add the sausages. There's 400 grams of just pork sausages cut into threes. These are on for about five to eight minutes or until the sausages start to take a bit of colour on. In the meantime while that's doing I'll keep it, uh, keep it stirring but I'm also going to toss this diced chicken in the flour and the Cajun spices. Chicken's going in the pan now as well. That's all well mixed in now, it's looking good. I know we had a bit of chicken stock for this. And we uh, bring this to the boil, which it's already doing actually, it's getting to a nice simmer anyway. Time I've stuck the, the uh, slow cooker on to start heating up, well the instant pot in our case. The next step I'm going to have to do with both arms, <laughs> which is difficult when you're vlogging and you don't have a tripod set up. Um, this is all going to get transferred to the slow cooker. We add the rest of the stock, hopefully not the spoon. And now I'm just going to season this a bit more and then leave it on for like 8 hours. There we go, added some seasoning and gave it a good stir. And I'll leave it on for the rest of the time now. And because it's the instant pot, the lid's gone on with the vent open because it's a slow cooker meal, not a pressure cooker meal. I do see you could just do this in the pressure cooker to be honest, but might as well leave it on for the day. I should say as well, you can either do that on six to eight hours low, three to four hours on high. I've done it. Not last week, uh, the last meal I did, I did on high and it came out just fine. This one though, since I've got the extra time because I started early, it's only 11 o'clock. I'm just going to leave it on for the whole day. When we get back later, it might not have finished the top time, it might not be at down to zero, but it'll have been on for six hours at least by then anyway. Additionally, I've been uh, messaging Gemma, she's been on a lunch. Probably going to have a drink at Kaz tonight. We haven't done that for a few weeks actually, and we do really like it. It's like, it did become kind of a weekly tradition on Saturday as uh, head into Ormskirk and uh, have a drink at Kaz. So we might do that. That's going to be good. Um, still hoping for zoo tomorrow. Weather's mm, changeable. <laughs> Cause, uh, we, I was going to suggest to Gemma we go into town because there is a maker's market type fur on in town that could have been good fun to go to. There have been a few of them on the last few weeks though to be fair. But we're actually going into town next weekend apparently so we'll save ourselves until that one. <laughs> I'd forgotten this morning. <laughs> I drove the car to, to drop Gemma off with 80 kilos of gravel in the boot because um, when we were doing the back garden, the little square that I showed, that, that I built to put the new garden stuff, I noticed that Asda was also selling the gravel that we have in the front garden, just the pea gravel. So I thought, hmm, I might pick some of that up for next year because we can get the front garden done then. Um, and Asda's having a big clear out of all of the stock, surplus stock of summer stuff now. So last night when we went to get the shop in, I noticed they were flinging it out at £1.50 a bag for a 20 kilo bag. So I instantly grabbed a small trolley, <laughs> threw four bags in, and went and paid for that. Six quid for four bags, 80 kilos of gravel. Uh, so that's in the garden there, in the back garden, awaiting uh, possibly springtime when we can go and revisit uh, the front garden to sort out the drive and tidy it up a little bit, because I want to get some weedproof membrane. Whoever did our drive didn't put any weed membrane down. They just dug up the front garden, threw soil down, threw a few old bricks down, put some flags down, and then threw gravel over all the dirt. So every summer, just weeds just sprout out of the dirt everywhere. Now it's not perfect with the weed, the weed membrane, so we're starting to see weeds in the back garden already, but it's better than nothing. So at some point I need to do that as well. <sighs> Moving the bags. <laughs> I wish there was somewhere to put them out the front so I didn't have to send them to the back of the garden and then bring them back down when we need them. At least when we need them, I'll just do one at a time. I'm having an afternoon of uh, housekeeping on the channel. I did forget, we used to have um, Amazon affiliate links on our descriptions. I did a trial on it um, and it didn't really work so I, we don't do it anymore. Um, and I'd left all the Amazon affiliate links in the video so I've just tidied them up. That's the small job. The bigger job is if I go description, Twitter, apply editing the Twitter links out of 550 videos and I keep putting it off because it's going to take me ages but I just do a bit now and then just to remove the links. The trouble is as well is if you go back far enough on our channel 
we had like links on the actual video which I just can't remove those so they'll just have to stay apparently I have also got supers turned on super thanks and super chat I didn't even know I'd turn those on <laughs> we don't stream so super chat's useless um, and super stickers is turned off what even is super stickers So the supers is basically uh, an option to sort of like pay for like a highlighted comment. I think a super chat is when you do a stream, it comes up at the top and tells you. And then super stickers is a way to monetize your channel through the YouTube partner program. These features let your viewers purchase live chat messages that stand out. Okay, we've done that. We know that one. I might have to do live streams. Apparently some channels can earn up to $400 a minute with super chat. Yeah, I don't think ours would. Um, paid YouTube super stickers is an extension. So the like Twitch bit emotes. All oh, right, so it's just stickers that you can put in the chat. Okay, well we don't need that then. The amount of stuff they just tack on to these services. I did used to like doing the live streams though. We had some fun doing that occasionally, just chatting to people. Maybe we, when we're doing our uh, like trip announcements, we could do them live in future. We'll have a think about it. The other thing that came up, referring back to uh, last week's vlog, DJI did indeed announce a little tiny drone called the DJI Neo. I'm still not sure. to come down, this thing's war pigs. Yeah, we'll go for that one instead. Uh, I'm still not sure if I'm going to get a drone, though. I feel like I'd, it's something I'd like to, to learn, but I don't think I'd ever find any use for it for the channel. There we go. I think I've updated the Twitter description to remove it from everything for about two years so everything now should be yeah 2022 and beyond so I think if you're looking that far back I don't really care <laughs> I don't think many people watch the videos from this far back to be honest with you so maybe some of the travel videos I should probably go through and update it it is quite interesting though going back looking at these vlogs that we've done because I can go back to like 2019 and there's pretty regular vlogs until then and then they sort of fall off a bit. I think we did 16 in 2019. So let's have a look shall we. We've done 27 so far this year. Then 2023 we did 40. 2022 we did 39. Uh, 2021 we did 40. So we usually, yeah, we're doing pretty well. 40 a year, thereabouts. 2020, uh, 42. 2019, 16. Uh, that's when they were definitely occasional vlogs. What did we do in 2018? Um, seven. <laughs> and 2018 was the first time I think that we even attempted it. So yeah, let's have a look. Oh no, these are 2017, so there must be a 2018 playlist somewhere as well. I probably should have just shown you the screen, really. We did Yule vlogs in 2018. We did 10 Yule vlogs, which is quite a lot for us. Uh, I don't see a playlist for occasional vlogs in 2018. Maybe we just didn't. In 2018, we call them the weekly vlog because we did want to get one a week out and I don't think we quite made it because we're getting up to the end of November here and we saw more quiet and it was, week, it was vlog number 33. We definitely missed a few out there. That was the year we met, um, well, I went over and said hello to Crispy S'more in Blackpool. But it's nice to scroll back through these and find the memories though, I must admit. It's good fun. And there's where we wrote Mark and Gem on the bathroom wall and paint. <laughs> wow, is it really? Six years since we painted the bathroom. We probably need to get on that fairly sharpish. I'm not even going to think about when we painted this room. Definitely did it on a vlog, I think. Or we did it since we vlogged. The bathroom, the kitchen, I definitely remember painting in, on a vlog. But that must have been five, ten years, five, six years ago at least, sorry. Uh, upstairs. Yeah. The whole house does need painting, apart from the back bedroom, which I did recently paint. And look who it is, it's Miss Pixie Princess. Hello, honey. What well, left itchy today, isn't she? I've just given her a quick comb. We got some, uh, some like, flea and tick combs to uh, run through them. And she was really bad earlier in the week, but she's really calmed back down now. And look, they've got some new fish there that they like to play with. I'm just fully waiting for it to start scratching itself while I'm filming. She's been actually 
super affectionate this week. She's enjoyed being brushed and combed. But then at one point while I was working, she was sat on my knee just sitting all there. She, she goes, she's off. What it is now is less fleas. It's more that they've got little scabs around their ears. Um, so while those are healing, I think they're still going to be a bit itchy. The other toy she bought from, I don't know where it's gone. It's one of them little USB plug-in uh, balls. And you just plug it in, charge it up, and then you turn it on, and it rolls itself across the floor. And Reggie was chasing it round earlier, and I think he's pinched it and moved it somewhere. I genuinely can't see it anyway. <laughs> and I guess your cat update for the week. Um, he's not actually coming round as much as he was. Um, so I think someone else might be looking after him now as well, which is fine. You know, he's the neighbourhood cat that everyone looks after, and I think that's a great thing. But I popped that... Uh, bed hammock thing that I bought there on top of our couch just for the time being because it was getting into the way and he loves it up there so the other night, night I caught him sleeping on it which was very very cute <laughs> and the absolute best thing about doing vlogs over the years that we've done is just watching them back occasionally this is the last day of our 2018 trip the rainy one uh, our first on site visit <laughs> it was a good trip Looking back on it, at the time we were a bit damp and grumpy, but I think we had a really good trip. Um, if you didn't see that uh, trip, it was our 10th wedding anniversary, so we decided we'd go out for an on-site trip. Uh, we had our celebrating 10th anniversary badges on, um, and we had a, all these plans of a fantastic holiday. What we didn't account for was that there was going to be a tropical storm off the coast of Florida for 10 or 11 of the 14 days that we were out there so we basically got 11 straight days of rain and it wasn't like florida rain because if you've been to florida you'll know florida rain is like 20 minutes of absolute downpour and then it stops it was constant every day it was rain 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 so we basically spent two, like two weeks wearing ponchos walking around disney world in, in the rain uh so not ideal <laughs> but you know we still had a good trip and we did make the most of it and it didn't put us off going back of course as well so it was a good time. And now I'm starting to realise the things I've lost because I left Twitter. I had photographs on Twitter, an entire string of like every single Florida trip since 2015. The, fo the a photo of the carpet in the airport to say we'll be back. Um, and now all that's gone. I mean, I've still got the photos on my phone though, so it's not the end of the world. I use uh, Google Photos to back everything photography-wise up. The video has to get deleted because it's just too big, but the photos going back umpteen years. Oh, update before I uh, pick Gemma up. I did actually find why these boots were a slight second. I thought it was the moulding here. It's actually the stitching's visible there. Still, for 80 quid, I don't think that's a problem. You see on those ones, these are the not factory seconds. You don't have that stitching visibility. And let's be honest, I reckon a couple of minutes with a bit of super glue I could fix that if I wanted to. Or actually the glue that I used to fix this watch, that might be worth doing. But I'd probably just leave it to be honest, it'll be fine. I've done a daft and today. I've come out to pick Jammer up. Gemma finishes work at half five. For some reason I got it into my head that she's finishing work at five. So now I've got half an hour to kill. Where shall I go? <laughs> well, we're back home from our trip to Kaz, and again, I forgot to film it, but we always pick up some extra beers there as a treat. Got the Polly's, got another Polly's there as well. Um, we got some bananas, no, um, it's cloud water, and I'm not even sure what that says. It's a collaboration beer, and then I had to pick this one up. Post in the comment if you can you know the band. <laughs> That's so good. And also, the gumbo is finished. And I'll t I've just tasted the sauce. It's spicy. It tastes lovely as well. So the only thing with this is it's not authentic because it's not thickened. It should be thickened with roux. Um, I have corn flour. Maybe I could do that. But maybe I should just serve it up and see what we think. So since a roux is just butter, flour, milk, and one of the ingredients earlier on was flour, I have just made a bit of uh, corn flour mixed in there just to see if I can thicken it up just a little bit. And it's coming coming around quite nice now. I'm just boiling it off a little bit. 
Meanwhile, I'm also boiling two bags of boiling bag rice just to have with this. Jammer's gumbo. <laughs> gumbo. What do you reckon? Mm, looks good. Mm. Nearly fell over backwards then. Enjoy. Is that rice okay? Mm -hmm. Good. Did you enjoy that, honey? I did. It was lovely. It was good, wasn't it? Couple of things. Bad sausage choice. Yeah. And I think chicken thighs would have been better than chicken breast meat. Anyone who eats vegetable sausages just needs to hang their head and shake. <laughs> yeah, they were not good. No, they're just mush. But yeah. It's a nice coarse sausage. Yeah, I think for that definitely. Mm. Uh, I think the thigh, the chicken breast meat was a little dry, and I think I a thigh meat would look better. Okay. Although thigh meat would probably turn to Too stringy fatty. cheek. Cheap. Yeah, it's shreds, wouldn't it? Although I quite like that, you know. Yeah, you could probably do a gumbo like that. That's how thick in it as well. Yeah, I'll do that next time. You can always try it with chicken thighs and see how it yeah. comes out. Well, just before I go up to bed, look at these two sat on the table being absolutely adorable. <laughs> what a pair of idiots. Well, it is Sunday and... Uh, I'm going to hazard a guess that we aren't going to be doing the zoo today. The weather forecast this week has changed so many times that even yesterday morning it was saying that the zoo and everything was going to be dry. Well, everything. I think Chester was going to be dry. It's not. I just checked the weather for Chester today. It's raining all day. So, we need to find something else to do. I think we're going to maybe go to the supermarket and get a nice roast dinner and cook at home. Because I was going to suggest maybe we go out for for dinner. But it's probably going to be cheaper and better to just do it at home. You see, it feels like the, the story of the summer this year. With everything, well, it's not really summer anymore, is it? With everything we plan to do, the weather's just ruined it for us. <laughs> I feel like a stuck record whinging about it as well. Well, there we go. Fingers crossed for an Indian summer as well. Because our lodge in Cartmel has got a hot tub. And come rain or shine... I am definitely at least spending one afternoon in that hot tub. I don't care if it's snowing. <laughs> Sunday bacon. Sunday bacon. The um, Taylor's Farm shop bacon and Scott's bacon. So much better quality than oh, the yeah. Asda stuff, isn't it? Like not a, Well, a little, couple of drops of fat came off it. So, enjoy that anyway, honey. Thanks. And then we'll figure out what we're going to do with the rest of the day. Probably kayaking, given the weather. Well, we came out and did a... Have a wander around the range for a little bit. We thought, yeah, it's raining, no one will be here today. It's absolutely heaving. <laughs> and the car park in this place is a disaster. Let's go strawberry piggy. Wow, that's uh, that's quite the statement. <laughs> Much as that one. Twit two. Robins. Anyone want a, a lion on the toilet? Range going hard on Christmas stuff already. Mm -hmm. Come in. Christmas, Halloween, check in TK Maxx next. I think you've posted all these on Instagram already, probably, haven't you? <laughs> one's new, is it? The only trouble is that one's chipped there. Yeah. That one's dusty. It's because it's last year's, that's why. The classic TK Maxx shopping experience, broken stuff. I lost the sale because it was too busy, so we're going to try home scent to have a look there. Just wanted some chopping boards. Huge amounts of Halloween in here. You can spend a fortune on that, and Gemma probably will. Mm. Just the trick is, Home Sense and TK Maxx are the same store, so if you see one, with one, one thing in one, they'll probably be in the other. Sure enough, they had the chopping boards I wanted. And we're back home. What did we get for tea, Gem? Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> Came out of uh, the uh, Home Sense place. And uh, <laughs> emergency fish fingers. And uh, the car park was rammed, it was absolutely chucking it down. And someone cut me up on the car park, and then I just got, I'm going home, I've had enough. <laughs> so, not the most successful shop. We got, Ding. The, chopping we got the new chopping boards, which uh, we've, we've needed for a little while since there was an incident with the air fryer out uh, where the air fryer, fryer heat comes out of the back and the old chopping boards, which may have resulted in one big melty chopping board. I mean, I melted one by putting a pan on it. Yeah. The frying pan on it and got it all stuck to the bottom of the frying pan. <laughs> So that's that, at least, anyway. So we'll probably get some takeaway for tea. We can eat it at the table if we wanted to. We aren't going to, but we could. We decided in the end to go with uh, Perry Perry. We haven't actually had anything there for, from there for a little while, so... Took in time, I think. 
Well, we'll end the weekend much the way we ended a weekend vlog a few weeks ago with some Jean-Michel Jarre. <laughs> you finally made it into something for the Olympics, the Paralympics closing ceremony. Little Reggie's parted out. Right. Christian, thank you so much. <laughs> Flat out on the table. Yeah, such a handsome man on a Monday evening. I've um, taken to giving him the nickname of Dinkers. I don't know why. I think I mentioned it the other week. I just came down and walked past him and went, hello, Dinkers. And it kind of stuck. He's handsome, though, isn't he? He's grown into a proper regal little cat now. Lost all of his kitten looks. And the best thing about cooking a nice meal at the weekend is having the leftovers in the week. <laughs> this is the um, gumbo that I made over a baked potato. Watching back the old vlogs that we did, I was reminded that we used to do Stout Monday, Stout Sunday, Stout Whenever Day. We haven't done that for a while. This isn't a Stout, it's a West Coast IPA, but I thought we could at least do Beer of the Week. And this week is You Love Us by Crafty Devil. I mentioned earlier this is a Manic Street Preachers themed. And the brewery's actually in Cardiff, I think. Yeah, Cardiff Brewed, there we go. Let's give it a whirl. Oh well, yeah, that's really nice actually. It's six and a half percent, but it doesn't taste it. It tastes quite sessional. Tuesday, and uh, I'm just working. But yesterday, Gemma ordered Pixie a new bed because she used to have a bed up here, but we threw it out because it was getting very tatty. It was actually Jen's old bed, and uh, it was getting very tatty and broken. So we bought her this one, and within four hours. She was asleep in it, <laughs> which is caught her now again. She looks dead comfy there. So have to be careful not to trip over it going down the stairs. And here's actually a good reason why we haven't got new carpets in the house. Despite us putting scratching posts on all over the house, uh, she still prefers the stairs. <laughs> Just in the, uh, the kitchen of broken uh, <laughs> appliances trying to put me dinner on. The, uh, the oven's flicking on and off because the, the switch on it's a bit dodgy. Um, it only ever resets back to like the average setting when it's uh, it's turned on, but it can be a bit annoying if you put a roast dinner on or something and come back and it's reset to one six. Um, but yeah, well, that seems to have steadied now. We still need to look at a new fridge as well. Our fridge is as old as, well, we bought it when we moved into the house. My parents bought it for us and it has had a good run. It's starting to show its age a bit though now. Um, I did solve the problem where stuff was freezing up the back, but the door seals aren't great, and uh, yeah, we get a lot of ice in the freezer. Just had my lunch and uh, carried on with my work, and all of a sudden, he came and sat on my knee. Last couple of days, she's done this a few times. She's never sat on my knee before, but now she's like turning into a little lap cat every now and then. Very cute. Well, yeah, it is uh, Wednesday afternoon now. It's lunchtime. I'm just going to put my dinner on. Uh, but I am going to end this vlog now. And we had a relatively relaxed, quiet weekend this weekend, I must admit. Um, I enjoy cooking the chicken gumbo, though. I think I would do that again, but uh, as previously mentioned, I'd probably swap out those Richmond sausages for something better. Because they weren't even that cheap. <laughs> and they did not taste good at all. So maybe we'll revisit that one and do it again in the future. The adjustments I made I in the cornstarch need to do the trip. Although I have looked at the recipe to make the um, the actual thickener that they use on that. I can't remember the name of it. I mentioned it earlier in the video. Um, and, and that doesn't look too difficult to make. It's just we don't have butter and I don't know if we could use margarine as a substitute. But anyway, enough about talking about food. Uh, the next vlog is probably going to be Saturday. Where uh, Gemma's got the day off so we might head into town. Uh, I can see us probably having a relaxed Sunday though, so we might have uh, nice nice food on Sunday, cook some nice food uh, then, that'll be good I think. Um, yeah, so while it, <laughs> it just reminded me as well, while, while we've been sat here, I've just sat at my desk and I just heard bagpipes out in the street somewhere, so I don't know where that's come from, but I could just hear bagpipes just blowing on the wind, and it was quite pleasant actually, <laughs> very strange. But yeah, I think we're going to cut uh, end this one now. So thank you for watching, and look after each other, and we will see you in the next vlog. Goodbye. <laughs>